Ronald Reagan once said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. We hope our story is one of the inspiration for others and encouragement to reach out and make a difference. Our parents have to work and drop us off early at school. We are part of morning care. One day during morning care, we were making fortune tellers and other origami shapes. Sharpening the saw is one of the seven habits. To us, sharpening the saw is having fun and being able to relax. Origami is one of our activities that help us with this habit. As we were making the shapes, we started thinking about selling them just for fun to our class for a pretend money. A teacher came up to us and said that our fortune tellers were so good that we should sell them for real money. At this time, our class was doing a service learning project with five acres. Five acres is an animal shelter that is close to our school. Our class was making toys for them. So we decided instead of making toys, we would use the profit from our fortune tellers and donate it to five acres. Beginning with the end in mind, we had our goal, and now we need to create a plan to get the word out. With that in mind, we approached our librarian and asked if we could place posters around the school advertising our new business. He encouraged us to speak with the principal. We went into the office and spoke with our office manager and scheduled a meeting with our principal. During the meeting, we showed them our business plan, which included merchandise, advertising, and our hope to raise funds for five anchors. We decided to sell them before school in our atrium. We created a timeline and planned to begin selling them the following week. After the meeting, we hung up posters and created a video advertisement for our daily school broadcast. We also began making our fortune tellers in origami. Being proactive helped us, helped us with balancing our, all of our activities, including schoolwork, sports, and fundraising. We began selling Monday. At first, it started as a trickle, but by Wednesday, we started having rush hours. We made another commercial and our business became even more successful. We added to our merchandise line. We needed some help, so we recruited our friend. We knew she would be a great part of our business. All in all, we made fortune tellers for two months. During that time, we sold over $400. We learned how to synergize. This is because we made all of the fortune tellers and origami merchandise for our customers, and we did it all together. We worked together to create new ones and we each had a job when we were making them. Working together is using our strengths and making it fun and easy. When our librarian, Mr. King, called Five Acres Animal Shelter, he called them right in front of us and we were so excited because they were coming. A couple of days later, we got the good news. The person that was coming was to our school was bringing a dog. I was so excited when Carmen arrived. He whacked his tail and tried to jump on us. We knew we did a good thing because he was such a good dog and we made an impact. We presented the money and told them about our business. So, this is our story on how we help the cats and dogs at Five Acres Animal Shelter. And as you know, Ronald Reagan once said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. So, what are you going to do to help someone today? <laughs>